What's going on, friends and fans? Ryan Dorn here answering your listener questions sent in to ryan at ryandorn.com. Thanks for trusting me with your uh, questions. Uh, Keep them coming. We appreciate it. And uh, whether you're listening to the podcast or watching the video, be sure to subscribe down below. And please give us a thumbs up. Uh, It lets uh, YouTube and Google know that we're doing good things uh, for all of you out there. All right, next question comes from Teresa in Phoenix. Hey, Teresa. Um, Ryan, I'm curious about your patterns of persistence. They seem pretty aggressive for the market that I'm selling in. So if you could explain it a little bit more, I would appreciate it. I want to grow and get things done faster. So Teresa, I think those are all really good goals. So everything that I teach follows the pattern of three. Talked about it tons of times. Um, The pattern of three is really easy to describe. Everything in nature happens in threes. Um, Takes three things to start a fire, three things to move a mountain, Goldilocks and the three bears, the three musketeers. I mean, I could go on and on. Everything just kind of occurs naturally in groupings of three in, in nature. So I follow the pattern of persistence of every three business days because it actually just works out. I feel like it's kind of a natural way to follow up. Now, every three business days on seven, so three on seven means that I'm going to be reaching out, say, on a Monday. I'm not going to reach out on Tuesday or Wednesday, but then I'm going to reach out on a Thursday. I'm not going to reach out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but then the next Tuesday, then not Wednesday, not Thursday, but then the next Friday. So what happens when you use a business day pattern of three, you're not going to hit on the same day at the same time, except for every, what about, I guess about three weeks or so, if my math kind of works out. Now, if you call somebody every day, that's annoying. If you call someone every other day, that's it's not quite as annoying, but still annoying. Every three business days, I believe, proves to people that you're serious, that you're not going to give up, that you're going to reach out in a politely persistent way. Now, here's what I can tell you for sure, Teresa, in Phoenix, and that is that reaching out once a week, it, you're very forgettable. You're very deletable. I want to be, and I hate to say this this way, but it's the best way to say it, Teresa. I want to be just annoying enough (laughs) to get a reaction, but not so annoying that it makes somebody angry. And I've found that every three business days actually work. So that's why I do it and I have great success with it. Now, what I do though, Teresa, is I vary up the times that I'm calling and the times that I'm sending email. So let's just say I do Wednesday, say at 1130 as an example. And I like 11.30 and 4.30 for prospecting. It works well for me. Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but then the next Monday is when I'm going to reach out. I might reach out then at 4.15. If I did a 3.30 reach out before, I might try 4.15 to identify the pattern that that potential advertising or client prospect might be using. So polite persistence works, Teresa. Um, Just remember, you're doing to that customer what they would hope their salespeople would be doing. So you're not doing anything wrong unless you're calling somebody every single day. That just gets to be a little bit annoying. Never forget, friends, if this job was easy, everybody would be doing it. And and they're not. We're not crazy out there. It's a great career. It'll feed your family for a lifetime if you're willing to try new things and give it a fair test. A fair test for me would be try something for a couple of weeks before you really give up on it. All right, Teresa, good luck out there. Keep your questions coming, ryan at ryandorn.com, and we'll get to a couple more questions here in a couple more weeks. Take care, friends. Get out there, sell something to make us all proud. If I can be of help to you, reach out to me, ryan at ryandorn.com.